uh, we are going to be looking at the Beyond Light Xbox Game Showcase trailer, which is more or less showing a crap ton of stuff on Stasis, and we're watching it together live on Twitch right now. Uh, and it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a thing. Uh, but we've already looked at it once. Now I want to kind of slow it down and and look at it holistically at all the things that they kind of showed off this time. But I'm really excited. First off, I get like mad even in the first shot. Um, I know they said they're bringing back the Cosmodrome, but every time I see any kind of like big space satellite, I will always think of the Cosmodrome. Just kind of the old age technology you saw there was just kind of, I don't know. It was very thematic to that area, so it's going to be interesting seeing it in kind of like a snowy, icy plane space. Um, but yeah, but this is, I'm assuming, shown on the Xbox Series X. So this is how it's supposed to look on Xbox. <laughs> Sorry, I'm broken. I'm a broken person who has a nose. Um, we also get kind of a, a look at, I'm assuming the Europa planetary armor set, which kind of looks like Sherpa gear, where, you know, you, you kind of pack everything on your back and then kind of travel up an icy plane. That was almost a dab. That was not almost a dab, chat. I was sneezing. Look like NPCs over, over here. Um, that looks like the stranger. Uh, and I can't quite make out which, which are these two right there because it looks like i mean I, I guess this is what it looks like to me but i assume it's all three of them but that to me looks like the stranger just because of the the stature and then the little patch on the arm too looks like they're wearing a hood and they look like they aren't as like thick as the drifter but i can't quite tell what those two uh also <laughs> icy boy fallen I don't think, I mean, I don't think that's a Ramus. But I don't know, that's a really dope. I bet that's a strike boss. That's what I bet. Whom, whomst ever that is. No mouse pointer? Oh, that's a good point. You're not, oh, you don't see the mouse because Lamau, because of the capture. Wait, how do you not see the mouse? I'll fix that. I want to be able to point, capture cursor, yes. Now you see it. Sorry, my bad. What I was saying then was this character right in the middle. I think that's the the drifter. Or sorry, the, the the stranger. My bad. I just usually people get mad at me if there's a mouse on screen. I totally forgot I had it turned off. <laughs> that's totally my bad. If Fallen have ice powers, does that mean they wield the darkness? I mean, I don't know all the lore implications for every single race, but the way, like, vanilla D1 was, was that more or less every single enemy race was a servant of the darkness in one way or another. So, I, I feel like they've expanded upon that lore so much that I don't necessarily know if that's the best way of putting it. But 100% they are here, right? They're using the darkness. But then again, it's not like we aren't going to be doing the same thing. <laughs> so, you know, um... Maybe they get it the same way we get it, or instead of getting it from, like, the Seed of Light, they got it directly from the source. You know, they went up to the, to the water fountain and stuck their entire mouth over it like a weirdo, just... <laughs> but, you know. I was that very stupid kid, by the way. I used to do that in elementary school. I'm surprised I'm still alive. Uh, anyways, I'm just gonna keep going. I've seen terrible... Almost. That is a gorgeous vista. So it looks like to the left we have like Golden Age, I assume Braytech Lab type stuff. And then is that like the 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 jutting Vex dildo esque structure over there? Kind of like the Pyramidian. Yeah, I'm assuming it's a Vex construct. That's my assumption. Um. So I assume this is probably an in-game shot where you'll you'll be actually down down there <gasps> oh gosh terrible things boy i'm broken this morning um oh i think it's also the gun they showed off for the charity marathon remember the one where it had like the the very very prominent red and blue on it that the like barrel and everything else is very exposed so it looks a lot like that um 
Maybe another scout rifle? And then grenade launcher. But yeah, they all got like those Sherpa backpacks, man. One out in the darkness. Oh, did that? No, pyramid looked the same. Okay. Another pyramid, but still, man, what? <laughs> Any shot with the entire pyramid in it is like perfect wallpaper porn. I swear. Uh, so it looks like, to me, that looks like a little Vexy boy, but that could be more fallen down there. But fallen are taking over this area for certain. Every moment brings them close. Um, is this the House of Dusk for people who are smart in chat? Do you remember what that symbol is for? Or if we've seen it before or not? It is not. Okay, ignore me then. I assume it's a Ramesses. Yeah. The new the new darkness house. That makes mo that makes more sense. So it's Ramesses symbols. Gotcha. Okay. House of Darkness. Would make sense. Because they're using the, the, the icicle stabbies now. <laughs> Looks like you have, like, like Radex from Fallout on your back. Just take that in case of stasis. Um, and then immediately into this area, which is, I guess, deeper, probably. That looks like it's exposed to the sun still. Or, the, sorry, not the sun, but the, uh, the environment, the outside. <laughs> um, nothing too crazy. Oh, sir. It does look gorgeous. So this is, I guess, at that Vex structure. Got a really nice, a really beautiful Radiolorian waterfall, um, which only ever rises to 32 degrees Celsius, um, making it a very abstract, strange thing on our tour today. Uh, don't drink it. Don't bathe in it unless you want to be a Vex. I do wonder if we have to dive into that somehow. It's time to step beyond. Like, take it like a nice slide. I think that's a better look at that weird looking. I assume it's a grenade launcher. But it looks like an engine block that's got turned into a gun. So, more looks at that armor. Lots of fur. Tactical gear almost. The light. Up. Oh, one frame. Eh, like four frames too early. Also, more look at that gear, too. Uh, I'm happy that... I'm assuming it's Hunter, Titan, Warlock. Uh, that's an interesting helmet, and I also like how the Bond already stands out. That does make me happy. I hope we get more Bonds that have, like, holographic stuff on it. You know, as, as a very constant thing. Um, but I do like those helmets. They all kind of look like... I don't know if you've ever used any kind of like non-traditional thermal heating element for like camping, but it kind of reminds me of all the random stuff I would use in Boy Scouts, where it's like, put this paper on the ground. And also it's really, really hot if you touch it. And it just reminds me of that. Also, that kind of reminds me of like the Helm of Saint 14 a little bit, even though I know it's obviously not, but just like the, the cut with the purple. They <laughs> look like bug zappers. I mean, maybe it's dual purpose. I don't know. So it looks like this is the one of the, I, I actually, I don't know how many supers we're gonna get, but this is a or the uh, Titan Stasis super, which from what I remember in the trailer, this is gonna like slam on the ground and make a giant ice wall in front of him, right? Or a giant like ice wave, yeah. So it looks kind of like uh, Fist of Havoc, I do wonder if you run around after deploying it, but it looks like no matter what that hit or who knows what is going to be a forward shockwave. And then maybe then you can run around and st stab people with ice. I don't know what. Um, but yeah, that was, that's really neat. So first off, this structure looks insane. Just because you have in like the background, the giant Vex structure, a billion shanks on the left. And then, you know, who knows what else with all the fallen structure stuff too. So apparently you're able to throw grenades and you're gonna be able to make platforms, which is very interesting. Uh, I wonder if that's gonna be necessary to traverse some areas. 
Um, I don't know. But yeah, it does kind of look like Prison Elder shit. I can kind of, I can kind of get behind that. Why you, at least why you'd think that. <laughs> Make old content real interesting? That is true. God, there's so many chains there. Wait, what weapon were they firing? Hey, go back. So, I can't tell if that's an SMG or an auto rifle. I'm gonna guess it's an SMG. Just because of how it sounds, it still sounds really light in my ears. And autos have a pretty distinct, like, more chunk to it. Am I on the 180? That's all I got. All right. Trying to get, like, the cleanest shots possible if I can. But I think it's just because, you know, encoding's a thing that when there's a lot of stuff on screen, it looks a little jorbled. Um, okay. Oh, whoopsies. Wait, what the heck was I looking up? <laughs> I think I was in the search bar for a second. Um, so then this looks like Blade Barrage, but with icicles a little bit. Um, it almost looks like a Nova Bomb, if I'm going to be honest. Because look at how big that radius is. We'll talk about the enemies they're fighting in a second, by the way, though. Um, yeah, I'm on Destiny YouTube. I'm, I'm, I'm watching it at, at 1080. That's where we're watching it at. But the problem isn't resolution. It's just, you know, when there's a lot of stuff there. Um, that's a pretty massive, like, AoE around it, too. So you get a better look at that. God, there's so much on the screen. Yeah, that's a pretty decent idea of how big that radius is. I can't tell if this guy's being affected by it, but it looks like he is. Um. God. Yeah, like, look at that, man. It looks like you throw a decently large, like, axe. And then when it lands... Yeah, like a big ice pick. You can see a whole bunch of them right there. So you throw it, and then they got the big freezy boy too. Stormbreaker. <laughs> so then there's in case, which is the other thing too. Um, I'll just... So it looks like you can chain freeze enemies now. Uh, I don't know if they take increased damage or not, but I mean, even being able just to lock them down in place is already pretty dang good. It makes me wonder if there's going to be some grenades that don't do damage if they're going to be purely status-based. Like, if I had a low health target and then threw that grenade or whatever that was, would I then be able to just, like, would it die or would it just get frozen? Does it freeze faster if they have low health? I don't know. Throwing at the left hand to melee charge. Oh, is it the left hand? Let me go back. That's a good call out. Oh, you're right. It also... See, I can't tell. To me, that looks like a warlock glove. But that could be a smoke from a hunter, because we don't really know what the... Well, I bet if I go back... Where are we at? 32? Okay. Eight. It does look like a warlock, because you can see the gloves right there. Let's clean the grenade. He's got a point, though. That is with the that is with the left hand. They could have also flipped it. No, they couldn't have, because the gun's still on the right. Interesting. The girl has two abilities? Maybe. I don't know. I thought the grenades were from right hands. Cause like when you charge the grenade, don't you eat it with your right? Dude, it's one of those things you never think about until it's like, now it's the most important thing. You know, hold up, I'm just gonna do this. Dude, easy, easy peasy solution. Since I'm gonna, I believe chat, but this way I can satiate my own, my own gremlins in my mind. They're like, yeah, but like, what if you just, the past five years, what if you never once thought about which hand it is? 
You know what I mean? But his left... Okay, grenades are all lefts. Eats with the lefts. Which is weird because I'm right-handed. Maybe that's why I'm thinking it's with my right hand. It's because I'm biased to thinking about that. Being grenade, being able to make platformers means we're getting a lot of new grenades. Yeah, that's also true. Well, I assume if you hit the ground, it just does the same thing, but up. See, look, this is my left hand. Definitely. Definitely my left hand and definitely not my right. And I'm also not an idiot and there's no proof anywhere ever about it. Cool. So that's a grenade. I got hella up in my own head about that because someone met someone was like, oh, it must be a melee. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know. Anyway, sorry. I had to. I had I had to look. I had to look. Uh, boop. So cool. What's it? So it's definitely a warlock grenade because that is. I don't think the hunter has that super poofy glove action going on. Is it thirty-two seconds? Yeah. So we can watch it smoothly a few times. It also hits four targets. But it also kind of looks like it doesn't chain between them. It looks almost like a stasis vortex grenade almost. Yeah, I want to read that later too, Zero Delta, once we, uh, once we get through this. Then we're going to read more about stuff with Game Pass and whatnot. Um, that's a hunter? I'm telling you, it's not a hunter. This is, this is, I'm very certain, a warlock. That's a hunter. Yes. We're not talking about them. This is definitely a hunter. Also, uh, they're throwing a Dr. Mario pill at somebody. Like, it's warlock jump and everything else, too. Like, just the glove alone... animation I don't know maybe they added more animations I don't tell you but look look the glove is different it's not the same glove you can't tell me that it's a hunter <laughs> you're killing me in before in before it's a hunter in both and they just decided to give them different ammo or different uh <laughs> different armors Look at the glove! Look at it! There is no Pepe Sylvia. There is no Pepe Sylvia. <laughs> By the way, it does look like it looks like a freezy vortex grenade. That's that's what I'm drawing out of that. <laughs> Could be a Titan? It's not. We already looked at what the gloves looked like. This is the warlock glove. I'm done arguing about this. I'm putting my I'm putting my foot down as a streamer and say, because I'm a streamer, I'm right because that's how the internet works. Also, everyone now is blocked, which means I'm the winner. <laughs> that's how you resolve the internet arguments, arguments, right? All right, so first off, the hunter uses the grenade to kind of like, I don't know why they use it that way, because it looks like they don't jump off of it. It looks more cinematic than effective, uh, because then, Oh, I didn't even realize that both of them are in their super during this. So, okay. Uh, then I'll, I'll just play it full speed a couple times. So they do that. Jump up. They throw two of those. Which it looked like the first one knocked them out of their super. And the second one froze them. If it's going to be that easy to suppress people out of super? <laughs> um, it could be maybe an exotic, but I don't think so. God, I can't get over how scary that is.
God, that's gonna. I I I'm really curious about what that means for Crucible because that looks like that looks like hell on earth. If I'm gonna be honest, uh. So you know, uh the music is very incredible. I cannot wait until we have the entire soundtrack for Beyond Light. Tuna Mail charges neither is dead. Well, I would assume it's because the first one, uh, they were in super, so they took less damage because even though they're being knocked out of it, they still had super resistance. And the second one froze them, so they're low health. Their shields popped. You can hear it. Look at the weird code thing on the top right. Yeah, there's also all of that stuff, too, which I'm sure Raid Secrets is going to be digging into that. Hunter is now Fortnite building suppressor. Dude, listen, just build forehead. Now we can legitimately say just build forehead and it will not just be a meme. It will also be a thing you can do inside the video game. Which honestly is, you know, just par for the course. It's just par for the course. Um... So I they, they say shatter, but I don't know if there's any actual if it's just visual or if shattering enemies is a mechanic. Um because I am really curious if it's gonna be like a thing where maybe it'll have charge with light buffs. They'll be like, if you kill a fro uh, uh if you if you shatter an enemy, you get plus one charge with light or something like that, you know. Um I don't know. Also, definitely Vex, also definitely a drag just being a bro. Um, also, what? I believe that was Warlock? No, this is... This is the Hunter! What ability is that? I wonder if it's going to be... I don't think it's going to be a new class ability, but maybe it'll be a melee override. What if it's similar to um, Middle Tree Titan or Middle Tree Arc Titan? Yeah, it could be an, uh, an aerial melee override, yeah. That's really interesting. I would really like to see some of the other, you know, abilities for their classes start to maybe get a little picked off a little bit here and there. Which would be interesting. He has an knife nice in the hand. Oh, he does. I didn't even realize that, honestly. That's a good that's a good call out. What's the next frame? So yeah, it looks like you slam it into the ground. And then enemies, of course, explode. Nice. Okay. Looks at it as a D1 layout. Unless unless that's brand new information. He said that he it is going to be different. He has not promised it will be exactly like D1 ever, as far as what I have seen. He said it will be different. He did not say it will be exactly like Destiny 1, so don't get your hopes up. Discuss the backpacks yet? Yeah, because it's like like I said, it's like uh, when people are sherpa up a mountain. They have all the stuff on their back. So you have all that. Now that looked like a warlock melee override. Uh, only because you use a staff. <laughs> oh, dude. I would really like it if warlocks all of a sudden just got really wizardy. Like all of a sudden you had to summon ethereal like rods and stabs to use all the stuff that you had for some reason oh boy it's closer about being similar do you want sure but people people are, are when they hear stuff like that they don't hear the similar they hear it's exactly like d1 and then they put all these thoughts in their head about how things are going to be when bungie never said those things i'm just trying to make sure people are on the same page because I love the SD community, but they sometimes do this thing where they'll hear something and then they'll infer on it a million times what they think it means. And then when Bungie provides more clarity, they get mad. It's not what they thought that it was. So that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Um, I want to watch... This. 
So it looks like you super... It looks like a, a Warlock normal bottom tree vortex dunk. But also it looks like they're blowing up their own wall. But maybe, maybe when you detonate it, it like can freeze nearby enemies. I don't know. I mean, I would assume you want friendly damage breaking ice. Otherwise, people can troll you in more content. But I don't know if this actually does anything or if they're just trying to show off cinematically, you know, cool looking stuff. Also, wait. What is... I want to talk about whatever the hell that is. Because it looks like... That, that Titan is sliding, and then everything in front of him just gets frozen. Uh, so it's like, it looked like freezing in Teus Wards. Yeah, exactly. That would be interesting if it behaves similarly to uh, Middle Tree Arc Staff, to where if you're sliding and you hit the melee button, maybe it just pff, farts out a bunch of ice. But yeah, could be new exotic boots. I don't know, but that looked... That looks like it's going to kill me a lot. So then we have... Oh my god. Hell yeah, dude. So this looks... To me, this looks kind of similar to Nova Warp, except you're also a nomad who has a staff, and you're getting people to get off your lawn. You're still floating in the air. Uh, let me see if I can get a frame of that. Yeah, it looks like you're still floating in the air, too. Hunter because of cloak. You think this is a hunter? It's not. That also looked like some kind of melee override. It had a cape. It, you're, I'm just letting you know, you're wrong. It's not a hunter. It's not, I promise you. I can go back and talk about the gloves a million more times. I wonder if that's a finisher. No. It's third person, but it's definitely some kind of punchy melee override for the Titan. And then there's whatever that super thick boy grenade launcher is that I'm assuming this is, I'm assuming it's a stasis grenade whatever it is and that's it then you have the superhero pose no stop it where you have the staff and then I don't even know what's going on with the titan then you have this, the, the slappy slap yeah it could be it could be the raid exotic could be and that's that. Man, I'm excited. I'm excited to play with all those things and to, and to figure out what is all the new things. I don't know. I'm just a sucker for new content. I always will be. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Thank you.